Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are filming the first empty for 2023. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. So like usual, I have a very loud bag in here with all the items and it is very loud. So sorry for that. I didn't film this makeup, but like usual, you will find everything in the description box. And for this year, I decided to have some prices for these empties. I'm not going to mention all the prices for everything, but I will put them in the description box and we will talk at the end about a total for these items because I do have the prices and the total is a giant number. I am blown away. I did uh, finish some... Uh, products that are pretty expensive. I want to do a total amount of empties for a year and I will include in that all the empties that I'm filming in the empties and as well all products from the project pen because usually I'm not adding the finished products from the project pen into the empties just because I am keeping them until the, the finale from the project pen but that would be very interesting. I think it will be a lot of fun because for this first uh, empty I do have a lot of products. So let's start from the top. I do have a body wash from Dove. You know that I really love this one. And this retails for $6. I do have all the prices in dollars just because I could just put the price from Romania but it's not a known value. So I'm gonna put everything in dollars but the prices are from Romania. So if this in your country is more expensive or less expensive, that is why. So this is $6 and I really love this one. I do have another one as a backup. Then I have two scented candles from uh, Better Body Works. This bag is so loud, it's so annoying. So I have these two. This one is Cinnamon Sugared Pecan. This one is pretty nice. But my favorite one is this one, Spice Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. I love this one. I actually found the last one of these in Bath and Body Works and I bought it. So I do have a, a backup of it. it. Smells so nice. I really like the spicy part of it. And that Bath and Body Works, if you are buying two, three week candles, that is $46. So that's the price that I considered. I really like candles from Bed and Body Works, so I do have others already opened. Next we have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and I really like this product, it is pretty nice. I finished this one last week and I wanted to repurchase it but I couldn't find it, so maybe I'm gonna buy a different cream from CeraVe. I do have right now the one in the tub and I really like that one as well. I just prefer this one because of the packaging and it is a more hydrating, heavy duty cream and I do really like it. It sinks into the skin pretty fast, but it is pretty hydrating. So if you have more uh, dry skin, I think you will, you will like this one. Then I have the Ordinary Niacinamide. I have two backups of this and I have one open right now. I really love it. It is a great Niacinamide. My skin loves Niacinamide. So this is always in my empties. Then I have a mascara. This is the Maybelline the Colossal 100% black and I do have the price of this one. It is $6 and I am very curious if this costs more or less in your country. Please let me know. I am very curious about that because of course some brands are from the US so they will cost more in here and some brands are from Europe so they will cost less in here compared to the, to the US. Next I have the Way Texturizing Hairspray and I do like the effect of this one but it smells so not great. It smells like flowers but in an old fashioned way. I really don't like the smell so I didn't repurchase this one and I will not repurchase it because I really don't enjoy the smell. Then I have the Discovery set from Kayali. I did film on um, my perfume collection and I did rank all of these. I really like this discovery set. You get eight 
of these samples and I did discover that I really like the vanilla one, the normal vanilla and I really like the burning cherry as well. So this was really nice. This retails for $27. Then I finished a small size of the Polar's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. I do really like this product. It is a really good product but it is just a bit too strong for my skin. My uh, skin feels a bit dry after I'm using this one so that's the reason I'm using it every two weeks or something like that. I do have the bigger bottle. I got it from a friend so I will continue to use it but I will just um, use it every two weeks and if the product will go bad I will just declutter it. Next we have the Bedhead Salty Not Sorry Epic Texturizing Salt Spray. I really like this product. I don't think this is a necessary step in my hair care routine. I do have a pretty complicated hair care routine and I don't think it is necessary. So I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one. But if I really see a difference and my hair is missing this product, I will um, buy this one again because this one I think it is the best texturizing spray that is a watery formula and that you apply while you are blow drying your hair. I really like it. It is a really good product. I do recommend it. I will see if uh, it is necessary for my hair care routine because right now I am using, I don't know if it is in here, maybe I finished it or I think it is almost done. I have the one from uh, Living Proof. It is similar to this one, but it's way, way better. So I do like that one more. So I think I could use that one for texturizing my my hair. Then I have a dry shampoo in here. This is from Batiste. It is the fruity and uh, fruity and cheeky cherry. <laughs> uh, I really like the product. I really like Batiste. It's my favorite brand for dry shampoos. I really want to test the Olaplex one. It's still not available at Sephora. I don't know when that will be available, but I'm gonna buy it. But overall, I do really love Batiste dry shampoos and right now I am testing the overnight dry shampoo from Olaplex and let me tell you that one is really good as well. Then I have this uh, body scrub. It is from the brand Lotus Cosmetics. It is a pretty cheap one. I don't know if I can find the price. I do have a list but they are not in this order. It is four dollars so it is a pretty cheap body exfoliant but I do prefer the one from uh, Tutti Frutti, so I don't even know why I am still testing uh, products where I know that I have a favorite and that favorite is really great, so I don't need a new favorite. I don't think I'm gonna test new body exfoliants. I don't need to. Then I have three brushes in here. I didn't put the prices of these because they are from sets. This one is very, very old, but now it's losing hairs. They are all from BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna declutter this. I'm not gonna put them in the prices just because it is pretty hard to calculate that and I don't think it's necessary. Then I finished a retinol from the Inky List. This one is one of my favorites. It is so so nice. Right now I am using the Geek and Gorgeous one. That one is a retinol but they are retinol type products and I really like that one as well. I think I prefer this one so after I'm done with that one I think I will repurchase this one. I really like that this one it is a squeezy tube. The Geek and Gorgeous one has a pump and that is too much product. With this one you can choose how much product you are putting on your face and I prefer that and I really like this, this uh, product. I am using retinol around five or six days per week so I really like this one, so I think I will repurchase it. Next, I finished the CeraVe Smoothing Cleanser. It is the exfoliating cleanser from, uh, from CeraVe. Right now, I do have the one from the Inky List, and I do prefer that one just a bit more because it is a bit stronger. So that one exfoliates my skin a bit better. I do really like this product as well. I consider them both really, really good products. And that one is still pretty affordable, so I will continue to use that one and I will see what I'm gonna repurchase. Then I have a Rixona deodorant. 
I usually like the one from Dove, but they were not having that in a store and I decided to test this one. It is still very affordable. I do like it, but I prefer my Dove one. I feel like that one is just a tiny bit stronger. Then I have a conditioner from a brand that I always mispronounce. It is Technia, not Tenica, so Technia. I always mispronounce this brand. It is a decent conditioner. It is called Deep Care Conditioner. This retails for around $18, so it's not the most affordable conditioner out there. So I do prefer the Olaplex conditioner, of course, over this one. And if I want a conditioner from the drugstore, I think I would buy the L7 one from L'Oreal, not this one. So, and this is not even <laughs> from the drugstore, but if I want a pricey one, I'm gonna buy the Olaplex one. And if I want an affordable one, I just prefer the one from uh, L7, so this one is not a favorite. Then I have another pretty expensive product that I finished in here. This is the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. I did repurchase this one. This retails for $28, so it is a pretty pricey product, but I do really love it. I do have it in my uh, brows today, but it's not this one. It is my uh, backup that is no longer a backup. It is the other one that I have. I really love this product, but because I finished so many of these more expensive products, that's the reason the total amount for this empty will be so high, but for the next month, probably it will be a bit lower, but I am so curious about this pricing. Next, I finished a mascara from uh, Essence. This is the Lush Princess in the pink tube. This is my favorite one from this line. It is uh, for dollars. I really like it. It is very inexpensive and a really, really good volumizing mascara because I do like volumizing mascaras. Today I have it in here, the um, Red Beauty one. I just love it. It is my favorite and I am so happy, but of course I do have some, some lashes as well. Then I have another pretty expensive product. This is the System Professional Liquid Hair and this retails for $34. It is a really nice product. I do have it in my collection. I did repurchase it. It is a pretty good product for the hair. It is called liquid hair, so obviously it is for hair. It is a treatment, but it is a leave-in treatment. So after you are done washing your hair and you just towel dry your hair, you can apply like three or four pumps of this one. It's not a pump. Three of these pipettes. I can pronounce that word, but you get the point. It is a pipette and your hair will be very soft and silky. And you are supposed to use this treatment every three or four washes. So I do really like it. It is a really good product. So I already repurchased it. Then I have another mascara. This is the Sephora Big by Definition. I do like it. It is a good mascara, but it's a lengthening mascara, not a volumizing one. Similar to this one, they are both lengthening mascaras. So that's the reason they are not my favorite. They are pretty good mascaras in general, but I prefer a volumizing mascara. Then we have the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Icy. I don't really love this product, but Right now I am using the one from Fenty and that one is just a bit less painful than this one. And I kind of enjoy that I'm putting this kind of lipstick, lip glosses at the beginning of my uh, makeup routine. It is kind of kind of fun because they are plumping my lips and then the lips are prepared for lipstick a bit later. So Will I repurchase this one? This one, like I said, it is a bit more painful than the Fenty one, but it's not even close to the Too Faced one. So I will reconsider. I don't like it as a gloss in general, but for prepping your lips, I could see a point <laughs> for this product, but it's not my favorite product overall. And that one retails for $25. Next, I have the Severe Parpebral Cream. This is my eye cream of choice. I really love it. I just purchased three new bottles of this and I do have one opened already. I really love it. I do have the NYX This Is Everything Lip Oil. I 
really hate this product. I mean, it is pretty useless. It doesn't do a lot. It uh, stays on your lips for like 10 minutes and then it's gone. I have my favorite sponge in here. This is the Moop sponge. And of course, I do have like 10 backups of this one. It is really, really good. I do have another body wash finished in here apparently, but this one is 500 mils. The other one was um, 750 mils. So that one is larger. Then what else do I have in here? I do have a razor. This I think came in a pack of three. I don't remember, but I put the price for one if that was the case. I finished the NYX brow pencil as well. This is my favorite. I do have another one. It is so, so nice. As you can see, it is really finished. It is a pretty basic pencil, but I do really like it and it is pretty affordable. So I will continue to buy that one. Then I have the Catrice Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster. I did recommend a bunch of times the normal lip boosters. This is the Sour Mood. It was so, so nice, but sadly the applicator broke. As you can see, I have only the wand. I don't have the applicator in here and I can't use it anymore. So it is a pretty affordable product and maybe I just bend the, the applicator too much, but it is a bit sad. And then I finished the concealer. That is a bit unusual for me, but this is a mini concealer from NARS. It is the shade Vanilla. I really like this one. I did remove the stopper as well and I really like it. I would consider in the future to repurchase this one. It is a really, really, really good concealer. But of course, this was at some point a cult favorite. So for a good reason, it is so nice. And lastly, in here I have four testers from Versace. I, Versace, Versace. I will not put them on the pricing, of course, because I got them for free and they are free samples, but I want to describe them just a bit because I have some notes. The first one is called Crystal Noir and I wrote in here that it is a woody and spicy scent and that it reminds me of the replica when the rain stops, but that one is more of a grass smell and a brighter perfume if you can describe scents as brighter and darker. The next one it's called Dylan Purple and I think this one is my favorite. It is a fruity perfume. I really enjoy it. Next we have Eros and this is a pretty masculine scent. Of course you can wear whatever but for the sake of describing scent this is uh, a masculine perfume but it is woody and fresh. I do really like this one but it's not really for me. I really like the purple one and then the last one is Eros Flame and this one is a woody but citrusy perfume it has some notes of lemon and orange and it is really nice as well I did like these perfumes but my favorite one it is the Dylan purple and um, if they have a smaller version of this perfume I could see myself purchasing it because it is pretty nice. And for a total of these products, we have $350. That is so much money. I know that we have some expensive products like this one. I have the Huda thingy, even the NARS concealer. It's pretty pricey. The Too Faced laminating thing. So I did finish some makeup products as well, but and the, and the candles are pretty expensive, but $350 expensive? Well, I am proud in a way because I am buying things that are pretty expensive, but I am using them up. So that is great. And like I said, I will put everything in the description box. And this was the empty. I hope it was interesting. If you liked it and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like. And I will see you next time.